Welcome to Dr. Roulette. I got the prescription for your subscription. Okay, guys, I'm going to be playing uh, Roulette Master. Um, he's got an interesting way in playing the two out of the three columns, two out of the three dozens. Um, I find it's a very, very um, effective way of playing. And I will show you exactly how to do that. Oops. Oops, I made a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Right off the bat, I made a mistake. I was trying to bet on two of the columns, and I ex accidentally put $4 on the third dozen. So this is right off the bat. I, I, uh, I started this video with $500, and I made a big mistake, but that paid off. Ooh, doctor. All right. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That was a complete mistake. That's not how I wanted to play, but I'll I'll pick up that I pick up that so I'm up nine dollars and eighty cents for my trebles. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was trying to cover two out of the columns or two out of the dozens and I ended up um hitting one single one. Um so yeah, Roulette Master has a really interesting way on playing two out of the three dozens and two out of the three columns. Um, okay, so let me show you how to play this system. So you see that the first column hit right now. It was number 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Um, and uh, we're going to wait uh, for her to stop spinning on the first dozen. If she, if she lands on the second or third dozen, we will put our units on the second and third dozen. And uh, if not, we'll wait until she stops spinning in the first dozen and I'll show you what the logic is behind that okay so that's a 26 okay so we're gonna put uh, we're gonna start our progression uh, we're gonna be more aggressive this time and start at two dollars a piece so once again I started this video with five hundred dollars and now my profit is five dollars and eighty cents and um, so I'll show you the method behind the logic of um, of, of how, how to play this uh, twin uh, this uh, two out of three dozens two out of three column strategy so okay so that's a win so every time you win uh, you just rebet uh, that simple okay so we're gonna keep on uh, uh, playing until she hits the first dozen until we lose. And then if we lose, we sit out uh, as many spins as, uh, as it takes for her to get out of the first dozen until she stops spinning on the first dozen. This will allow you not to lose consecutively because a dozen can hit five or seven times in a row, even more. Okay, so there's a loss. So now we're going to wait. And uh, we're going to wait for her um, to... Um, see how many times she spins in the first dozen and we'll be patient until she uh, changes the uh, dozens and we'll go up a unit uh, two, uh, two, we're going to go up uh, two units I should say so every time you lose you have to go up uh, two units so in my case that would be a dollar each time and every time I lose I go down a unit which would be uh, going down by 50 cents okay so She's out of the first dozen. So now we're going to go here and we're going to add a unit here and a unit here. So yeah, I highly recommend you uh, check out Roulette Master. Uh, we play very simu similarly. Um, we don't play uh, in, inside bets. Uh, we play, uh, you know, two out of the three dozens or two out of the three columns. Uh, we play high percentage type of bets. So yeah, he's got a very good channel. Okay, so that's a loss. Okay, so now we have to wait for her to stop spinning in the first dozen. And what's great about this strategy, um, it it uh, as I mentioned, you don't lose you you don't lose consecutively, and um, and then it prevents you from losing any more bets that she may in the in the session uh, spin in the first dozen. So like let's say if she spins five in a row. That prevents me from losing five, uh, five potential bets in a row. So let's see. 
Okay, you see, that would have been a loss right there. So if I went on second and third, I would have lost that. So now we're just going to keep on waiting until she stops bedding in the, uh, stops uh, landing in the first dozen. Okay, so she stopped. All right, so we're gonna go here, and uh, since we lost, we gotta go up two units, which would be a dollar each. And go up, uh, okay. And you don't have to make uh, the first dozen vacant. You can choose any one you want whichever one you want it to be vacant. Okay, so that's a loss. So once again, I have to wait now uh, to see if she spins any more in the first dozen. And I think it's all per all important to make some uh, modifications to this strategy uh, by not allowing yourself to play more than four times in a row uh, in case she keeps on going like a ping pong uh, from, you know, high to first dozen, high to first dozen. Uh, and then, you know, so maybe I'll give it four times in a row. So I'll give myself one more opportunity. And if I lose this one, I will change dozen. So once again, we're going up two units. And let's put some insurance on zero. So let's do a little more here. So do $5.40 each and then 40 cents on zero in case the zero comes out. When your numbers get high, I recommend that you cover uh, the zero. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, still down. Uh, okay, so let's go here and do two. Four. Okay, we'll do four dollars each. And you can gauge to see where you want to be at, you know. Um, I feel comfortable doing four. Usually go down a unit, but it depends on, on where you are, you know. I started this video with 500, uh, so I'd like to uh, play a bit more aggressively. So let's go here, four. So I got that one, that was 22. Okay, so now I'm at two dollars and eighty cent profit, uh, and that was four. Uh, but so, yeah, oops. Okay, let's do two, and let's do three. And then the next one will be two fifty if I win, and then two dollars, and then I'll go back to flat betting, which is two dollars a piece, and that is my flat bet, is at two dollars a piece. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, so five dollars in profit. So okay, so let's get back to uh, flat betting. This would be a uh, two. I need to make some modifications to the system. I really like this system. I really like uh, the fact that you wait, uh, uh, wait out a few spins. Um, if, it, if it goes to the first dozen, I really like that. Um, but I still have to make some modifications for sure. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, $7.80 in profit. And now, you know, since I, I won a few times in a row, now I'm anticipating it going back to the first dozen. So I'm going to uh, be more uh, conservative so I can protect my balance which is uh, important, you know, you want to protect your balance. So, you know, I know that my said my flat betting was $2 a piece. Uh, but if you if you get like two or three wins in a row, you're going to anticipate it going back to the uh, first dozen. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Okay, so that's a win. So I'm just going to keep on going here. Okay, 
I'll go up a dollar. Okay. So you can play whatever you want to do, you know? The world is your oyster. Uh, you, you can play conservatively. Uh, you know, there's no rules. Uh, but keep in mind, your bankroll dictates everything. Okay, so that's a loss. So now we're going to wait to see uh, where she's going to spin now. And then that will be, then we'll cover that one and we'll leave um, the other one vacant. So let's go see here. Okay, so nine. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, $2 here, and we will choose uh, the second the second dozen. And also, uh, I also wanted to put six because I have a superstition that when nine comes out, six comes out, and when six comes out, nine comes out. Maybe not together all the time, but I've noticed they come out really uh, frequently together like in, in like 15 or 20 spins uh, uh, that separate them okay so that was a 10 okay, that's good so we're going to continue with that we're going to hit rebet we'll just put 20 cents on the uh, 6 it's a little side bet here And I only do it with those numbers for some reason. I I see them come out quite often together. Dealer change. Okay, so that was a loss. Okay, now we'll see where this dealer spins. And then that will dictate where we're going to cover the numbers. Okay, so 29. So let's cover, um, okay, we're gonna cover that and we're gonna cover first, and we'll go $3 each. Okay, so that's a loss. So we're gonna uh we're going to wait now to see if she spins any more in the second dozen, which will prevent us from losing if she does, which is a great safety. Which is, this is what I really like about this system. It is quite clever in that regard. So that's good. So one. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, so we're gonna go up two units. And you might think that's one unit because it's one dollar, but I consider fifty cents a unit, so that's why a, a dollar uh, would be uh, considered two units for me because I'm going up fifty cents. So that's uh, four dollars each. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so now I have to wait now. No, I'll just go. Uh, okay, so let's go up another unit here. Okay, 
Okay, so that's a loss. So now let's wait to see where, uh, if she spins another in the second dozen. Good safety feature to have, no doubt about it. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna go up two units again. And let's put insurance on 24, and we'll go up again. When the numbers get high, uh, you definitely wanna cover um, a number for insurance. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, still down $14. Okay, so let's do that again. Oops. Right, we'll do five each. I was hoping to get, uh, you know, a couple of, uh, of victories in a row, but it just seems that I'm losing too many, unfortunately, and just not having good luck here. And that's another loss. So now that we'll wait again. I just haven't picked up a lot of wins in a row that uh, really uh, uh, damaged my bankroll. See here. Okay, so that prevented me from losing again, which is good. Okay, so now we go back to the action. Okay, so we're gonna go up to, and we'll cover the 24, we'll go eight each. Twenty-two. That's a loss. Okay. So we'll go up. Uh, this time we'll go up ten dollars. Uh, but once again, we have to wait for the second dozen to stop hitting. So yeah, moving forward, um, I'm not sure about this system anymore. Um, I thought it was a good system, but I'm just not getting that consistency. I'm just. Uh, you know, I'm I'm losing way too many uh too many matches here, too many spins here. So. Okay, we'll try that one more time. Okay, we'll go up ten. And we will go like that. We'll go eleven, and we will cover the seventeen. We'll go twelve. So I, I really need to win this spin over here. I would love a 17. 17 would be good. That would pay me $70. So 
Ooh, doctor, got the 17. Ooh, that really saved me right there. Booyah. Oh, that feels good. I love, I love betting on uh, straight up numbers. I, it's the most fun, but it's the most dangerous, but it can really get you out of a jam. Um, if you if you just have bad luck, it can really, really get you out of a jam. Um, I did that out of basically desperation. Um, I really got to go back to the drawing board with this system. Um, it's not working out for me as I thought it would. Uh, but let's let's give it one more chance. Okay, so 36. Okay, so let's let's try again. Okay, so 36. So we'll do uh, we'll do second and third. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so once again, when we lose, we sit out a spin to see um, if she'll spin uh, any more in the first dozen, which will protect your bankroll, which will protect you from losing consecutively. So that's, that's the part that I like about this system. I just need to modify it a bit more uh, moving forward. Uh, because you can see that I... Uh, it's not very consistent. I, I really thought I was going to have a lot of uh, consistency with this system, but um, I really need to do something. Um, okay, so let's go up two units. So that's a win. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to flat betting. So let, let's give this one more try. See if I can make a profit. If not, I'm probably uh, going to show you guys another video uh, next week, uh, but from a different si uh, system. Uh, I'm not going to give up on this system yet. Um, I, I still think it has potential, but I, I definitely need to put some, uh, some more thought into it. Okay, so that's a win. So let's continue. Okay, good, another win. Okay, six dollars in profit. Okay, so now I want to protect my uh, my balance, and uh, I'm gonna just go a dollar each. Because after, uh, you know, three three wins in a row, you you somehow anticipate it's gonna go back to a vacant spot. You know that is not covered. Okay, that's good. Keep the chains moving. So well, let's uh, protect our bankroll by being conservative now. Um, Okay, that's another win. 
See, this is what I was anticipating. I was anticipating uh, that I was going to get a lot of wins in a row. Um, but the last two dealers uh, really had a lot of ping pong action. So I, I just wasn't able to get in any momentum. But now it seems to be working the way that I thought it would. Okay, so that's a loss. Okay, so let's see if she spins any more in the twelve in the first dozen to protect our bankroll, to make sure that she doesn't spin more numbers in the first dozen, uh, so don't so we don't fall into that trap. So that's uh, 24. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let's go back to the uh, $2 each. Let's Okay, that's a win. Okay, $8.60 in profit. So let's go ahead and click rebit. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. Sixty cents in profit. Okay, so let's protect our bankroll. As I mentioned, when we win two or three times, uh, you know, I'd like to go down because I'm anticipating it going back to the first dozen any time now. Uh, but we'll just keep on putting a little bit on it uh, to grab momentum. Okay, there's the loss. Okay. Okay, so now, now what I'm going to do, uh, this is the modification that I'm going to make. So I'm going to go to $2, and then I'm going to choose uh, this one, the first and second dozen. So that's the modification I'm going to make. If I lose, uh, in, I'm going to just uh, choose the, the, the next uh, one, and then, so... That, that's how that's the modification I'm going to make. I think this is going to make a world of a difference. I'll let you know what I mean exactly. So now we're going to do first and second dozen. Okay, and we hit that one. So that's good. So up to 1060. Okay, that's good. So we're going to continue. We're going to do first and second dozen again. Okay, good. Picked up two wins in a row. Okay, so let's conserve our bankroll and continue with that. But let's uh, put less, mus let's put less mustard in it. That's a win. Okay, good. So um, that's good. Okay, so now let's go down to the lowest here because now we're anticipating it bouncing to the third dozen just because of the laws of average. 
But let's try to ride that gravy train as much as we possibly can, even though it's only 50 cents at a time. Um, you know. Okay, so that's a loss. Okay. Okay, so... Now let's see if she spins any more in the third dozen. So I, I've already made the modification of how to play this yeah, um, better. Um, so I'm still going to wait to see if she spins any more in the third dozen. Um, and if she doesn't, then we'll do first and second. Um, okay, so let's go see here. Okay, so see, that, that protected my bankroll. That's good. Protected my bankroll there. So let's wait. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, so um, let's go back to the $2 bits. But this time, uh, this time if I lose, I'm going to choose another one. So. I'm going to give myself one opportunity um, to 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 uh, win and then I'll change it every time uh, I'll change it on the second time if I lose. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a uh, rebet. See if we can pick up another win. And how this uh, modification will change going forward is that it will prevent me from uh, losing the ping, uh, from ping pong action from going back and forth to the vacant one. So I'll let you know what I mean by that. Okay, so that's a win. Okay, good. Okay, so now uh, let's protect our, uh, our, our, our balance here by being conservative and uh, see if we can keep on riding the gravy train, but only doing 50 cent bets now, uh, so we can conserve our balance, uh, conserve our profit of $15.60. Okay, picked up another little small one. Okay, so we'll, can, we'll re -bet. So wh how, what I'm going to do playing forward is that in order for me to avoid getting the ping pong of uh, losing uh, back and forth, back and forth of losing, uh, I'm going to play it a bit differently. And I'll show you uh, what I mean uh, when I get to that point. That's a win. So let's play a rebet. Because the thing that was killing me at the beginning of playing this uh, system uh, that I kept on getting, um, the, the dealer kept on going from uh, one of the numbers that I was covering from one of the numbers that I wasn't covering uh, all the time. So I, I, I need to find out a, a way to avoid that. And I think I know how to do that. Okay, another win. Yeah, let's put a dollar fifty each and see if I can make it to 20.
Okay, good, I got that. Okay, so $19.60 in profit. Um, okay, so... Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Oops. Oh, okay, we're not going to bet on that one. I want to show you what I meant by that modification, uh, but this video has almost been, I think, 40, 45 minutes. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, but let's see, I'll play a little bit longer, not by much, though. Okay, so now that's the second dozen that hit. So this time, we will choose the second and the third. Okay. Okay, so that's a loss. So let's wait to see if the first dozen hits again to protect our bankroll, our profit. Okay, so that's 15. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, we'll go two. Okay, but this time, this time, I won't allow myself to lose two consecutive in a row. So if I lose this time, so let's say if it goes to the first dozen, I will make an, uh, I'll make a modification. I will wait uh, for it to go on another dozen, and then I will choose a different one. I think that's a modification that I need to make. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so that's a loss. So this time, I'm going to go... I'm going to go uh, $3 and $3. So I'm just, I'm just trying to find a way to how to how to play this system properly. Let's go see here. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so let's go four dollars, four dollars, and we'll cover the six, and we'll do oops, six and six. Okay, so let's go in. Okay. And, um, okay, so let's go ahead here and do uh, second and third. There's a way to manipulate it uh, where I think I can be quite successful in the system. Um, but I think by the next video, I will improve my, I'll improve on this strategy, hopefully. Okay, oh, <laughs> that's such a shame because I put, I put $2 on 6 on the other one, so that would have paid me another 70 That is a shame. Okay, so uh, let's wait now. That's too bad, though, because I had $2 on that 6 <laughs> Oh, boy. And remember what I said about six, usually the nine follows. Okay, 25. Okay, so uh, let's go 
Okay, so let's go one, two, oops, one, two, three. Okay, that's a win. Okay, so that was three, so let's go back to two dollars. Oh, two fifty. Oh shit, I should have done two fifty each. Anyways, not a big, not a big deal. Oh, and a dealer change. Okay, so I got that. Okay, guys, um, you know, if the dealer change, I think I'm going to stop this video. Um, you can see on the bottom left corner, I started with 500 and I made $12.60. Uh, it was, uh, I'm happy to make a profit. Anytime you make a profit in roulette, it's good. Um, however, um, I'm not sure how effective this um, this system is. I need to play it a bit more and to try to modify it a little bit better uh, if I can. Um, I thank you so much for watching and I look forward to uh, showing you another system, if not this system, uh, with modifications made uh, in the upcoming in, in next week. I thank you very much. And if I don't get to see you on another video before Christmas, I want to wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.